just got a phone call that uh, my new camera has arrived. Um, I've been trying to get it for a couple of days or weeks now. Uh, the guys at Canon um, were super helpful in finding me a camera because there wasn't really any stock anywhere around the country. They managed to put together a camera for me and I'm going now to collect it. It's just arrived at the shop, so I'm excited. <laughs> Canon M50, I'm going to unbox it now and I'm going to tell you why I think this is the best camera that you can use for vlogging. So let's do it. So I didn't get the kit box, um, I didn't have any stock in the country and Canon had to give me a lens and a body. It's two separate things, so let's put them together. User manual. Strap. Our cable. Charging station for the battery. And the battery. Um, now, on all the reviews I did um, that I looked at, all of them said that the battery was quite bad, so I got myself another battery. So I've got two, which is always a good thing to have two batteries with you when you need them. <coughs> and here it is. So here are my reasons for getting the Canon M50 and why I think it's the best vlogging camera. Number one is it's got the flip out screen that um, you can use and you can turn around and you can sort of touch screen as well um, and it's got autofocus on it. It films in 1080p um, which is I think all you need. I don't think you need 4K. Um, this camera, the Canon M50, also has 4K recording but the problem is that it doesn't Autofocus very well in uh, 4K, um, but that's not a big deal because I'm just doing um, simple videos. But it's quite nice to have if you want to do some B-roll stuff and you can film that in 4K. Um, I'm not a huge fan of 4K, um, but one thing I do like about it is being able to have 4K video means that you can, um, in post edits, you can crop your video a bit and you don't lose the 1080p, which is quite nice. So. That's the number one reason. Um, the number two reason is the price for this thing is amazing. I think it's about six or seven hundred dollars, um, and you cannot find another camera on the market at that price um, that offers the specs that the M50 does. The third reason is because it's a mirrorless camera. Now I don't really know much about cameras, um, and I was very confused when looking at cameras between a mirrorless and a normal mirrored camera. Um, until someone said to me, well, mirrorless cameras are the future, so you should might as well just go for the mirrorless one. So that's what I did, and I'm really pumped about that. Um, the lens. Now this is the standard kit lens that comes with it. It's a 15 to 45 mm lens and um, I really think that this is the perfect lens, wide angle lens um, to be able to hold the camera off at a distance and film yourself so really pumped about that. Um, so this is the Canon M50 recording, uh, I've got it on my handheld uh, Joby, uh, got my microphone on the top uh, so this is my full setup, autofocus going, um, yeah stoked um nicely in shot i can zoom in the camera's like about that far from my hand i face it when i was push it in 
And if I move it out, I can go quite out. Beautiful sunset behind me there. Um, so far, there's one thing I don't like about this camera, and it's probably all Canon cameras, is that the microphone plug-in cables on the side of the camera here where the screen is. So I'm looking at the screen over there. So that's out of the screen. And the microphone cable comes in in front of the screen. And it's hard to turn the screen around um, from this position. So if I want to turn around and watch from the back, um, I can't turn the screen around that well. I have to sort of flip it back to its um, original position and turn it around, which is quite frustrating. The microphone cable should be on the other side of the camera, in my mind. The other thing I'm not particularly fond of is that the record button for video is quite small at the top there and it's in an awkward position to press record. Um, it's almost like it, the camera is set up more as a photography camera, um, not as a video camera, which I understand it's not supposed to be a video camera, but uh, it would be really cool if the record button was sort of like a more pr predominant feature. One thing that is really amazing is that this uh, night feature or darkness feature on the camera that it picks up in low light quality. I mean, what you see behind me um, on the screen doesn't look like that to my naked eye. It looks much darker than it actually is. I mean, there's some, I can't even see this stuff in the background here if I turn around and face it. But I can see it on the camera, which is actually incredible. So really, really good job. Uh, in dark light and I'm standing outside and you can see me fully lit up there's no lights outside here or anything I'm in the dark so amazing amazing quality camera